Have you seen Power BI? No, that's a little bit enterprise for. Uh, okay, so you also follow Mocha small consumer, a bit small biz, end user. Well, the thing is, now it's being built. So it's funny. You say end user. Power BI can be plugged into public data sets. So it's very easy. So I had friends who were using it for the Football World Cup. You go and get access to historical data and use Power BI. If you, you have a look, so when we come into Power BI, you can actually use Cortana to query Power BI. So when we talk about Office 2016 being perfect for Windows 10, this is a really good example. Hey Cortana, when was the last time that England won the World Cup? So you can do those sort of, you know, um, get insights into data. So what you're going to see here is this is just based on an Excel spreadsheet. So even if you're a consumer or a small business, you can have this sort of spreadsheet that might have historical sales data, for example. So once this is coming in here, so you see I'm going to go up and I'm going to click Ask with Power BI. And I know this looks canned. I did this live in, in New Zealand. And all I have to do is start typing, you know, sales or sales amount or whatnot. And what Power BI is going to do is it's going to go and sort of figure out what I'm after and show me the data. Now, on the back end, it's just querying. Now, you see it's got that sort of predictive thing. It's taking in, so we're learning from the web. Now, if I choose sales amount, it doesn't matter if I get it wrong. Okay, that's not that interesting. That's just pulling one data point from an Excel spreadsheet. Now, what about if I say, and category? Now at the moment, this is a pivot table in Excel, but it's gone and shown it to me as a, as, a, as a graph because that's the logical way and the most easy way rather than showing you a pivot table. So you think about a consumer, I want to see that versus a pivot table, quite right, frankly. Right, right. Now, what about if I go, what about sales and profit? This one shows up, okay, that's not particularly interesting, but maybe if I do that by country, this is just natively pulling it. I'm not having to do a mashup with Bing Maps. It's overlaying that data onto a Bing Maps. And it's, and it's a live map that you can zoom in and out and interact with. We're number one. Well, <laughs> are we, uh, uh, you know, as Donald Trump would say, <laughs> winners. Um, okay, so here we are. This is Excel 2016. And you'll see what I've got here is just historical sales data. You know, March, April, May, here's the sales data. This is Tell Me. This is, what Tell Me is, is a way of getting access to features that you may not know about. So here, I used Word as an example. We've got about 4,000 features in Word. I didn't know where Forecast was. I typed Forecast, it took me right to that feature. And it's gone and created this forecast for me. So this is the historical data. This is based on that historical data, the upper bound, the lower bound, and uh, what it actually anticipates to be the forecast. Um, so you see, this is baked into Excel 2016, the ability to take historical data and create a, a forecast model.